Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Storage Sense on your Windows computer, on how to actually go ahead and free up some space on your computer, and automatically manage some temporary files. So, this will allow you to go ahead and in the background, this acts as an assistant that automatically frees up space by making locally available files you aren't using anymore removed. And that's pretty straightforward. And if you have OneDrive, it might also sync it back up to the cloud. But just in a general sense, you don't have to be using OneDrive in order to utilize this. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by right clicking on the Windows Start button. And you want to select Settings. You want to scroll down and select the Storage option. So go ahead and select Storage. And then where this underneath storage management, storage sense, automatically free up space, delete temporary files, manage locally available cloud content. Go ahead and click inside of here to open up the more options menu. So if you go ahead and actually turn this on, you can go ahead and run storage sense when you have low disk space. And by setting that, it'll do things such as clearing out your recycling bin after so many days. So if it is filled, if your computer is running low on space, it can go ahead and actually delete stuff. So it can automatically delete stuff from your recycling bin after so many days, as well as also deleting files that are in your downloads folder after so much time has elapsed without opening them. And you can also initiate storage sense immediately and run it manually by selecting the run storage sense now button. And it also will tell you up at the top when the last time you ran it. And there'll be a little checkbox next to when you ran it. There'll be a little checkbox indicating it finished. And it says done. We were able to free up disk space. And it'll tell you how much. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.